Windows 101 Code Compliancy, Coastal Considerations. As you already know, your state and even your local town or municipality has and enforces building code regulations to ensure new homes and remodeling projects are safely and professionally completed. But sometimes it's a challenge just to keep up with the way some of these requirements affect the product that is presented or sold, particularly when it comes to windows. The good news is that building codes make homes safer for those who live in them. For example, coastal areas of the country are in hurricane debris markets and may require impact-resistant windows and doors. That's an obvious advantage if you happen to be in a home during a hurricane with debris flying all around. But impact-resistant windows and doors also help keep the pressure inside the home steady so the roof stays on. Too many homes are destroyed during hurricanes because the building envelope is compromised and the change in pressure and wind velocity pulls the roof off. Having an impact solution for the windows and doors is an easy solution. Sometimes this need can be accommodated by plywood or a shutter over the opening. But sometimes external solutions don't actually hold up the way they're intended to. Impact glass, on the other hand, can meet the hurricane debris coat without any additional covering. Impact resistant glass is made with an invisible plastic inner layer sandwiched between two panes of glass on the interior side of the glass panel. The outside pane may break, but the laminated interior pane will hold and limit objects from penetrating the window. A small hole may result, and under extreme and repetitive impacts, the glass may break further, but the inner layer material will keep the window unit intact under even extreme hurricane category conditions. Most code requirements around the country aren't for such extreme circumstances, and areas that have hurricane debris or high wind zone markets often only require them for certain distances from the actual coastline. As you go inland, the code changes, and so does the required product performance. The thing to remember is a code may be in place, so you'll need to verify with a local building inspector if you have any questions about what a specific home needs to stay up to code and keep its occupants safe. For example, along the coast, a home may be required to have a certain design pressure or DP rating without necessarily having to have impact resistance. This DP rating indicates the product's performance in wind, water, and stress load testing. The higher the number, the better it performs. But the requirement for a DP50 window can drop to a DP35 from one street to another. This difference can mean a lot in terms of what a product costs, so it's best to know exactly what is required. An error on the high side of a requirement just ensures performance beats the minimum need. An error on the low side could mean starting over, and that's never a cheap fix. Some building codes for windows and doors are in place for different reasons than protecting. Florida has what's simply referred to as the turtle code. Turtles hatch at night, and typically under a full moon. Their instinct is to go toward the moon, which should lead to the ocean. Unfortunately, the full moon also reflects off glass, so turtles right out of the egg ended up heading in droves inland towards the false moon and all the predators waiting to make them their next meal. Because of this, Florida has a code that requires a gray, non-reflective coating on windows so turtles aren't confused about what direction to travel when they are born. Obviously, the turtle code for glass only affects a small number of the country's markets, but it's a good example of how a local concern can be addressed by a specific building code. Knowing your building inspectors and seeking their counsel concerning any question is always good advice. We've only touched on a few of the more common code requirements to illustrate how important they can be to your project's successful completion. Remember that codes change and inspectors move on, so do whatever you can to participate in continuing education and trusting relationships with professional partners who can help you navigate building requirements in your market.